Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I am here and I'm gonna tell you a little story and I hope that it inspires you. Um, yesterday, I was done with work at three o'clock. Well, not really done. My to-do list is never ending as I'm sure many of you can relate, both students and staff. Um, and technically we're off at three and so I was like, Oh, it's so sunny outside and I really wanted to work out. I've been really trying to take more time for myself because like Mr. Duran said last week, he is better when he takes some time for himself and ever since that and I also went to a conference last week that was like talking about the same thing and I just felt like a theme was happening and I needed to learn from that. And so the last couple of weeks, I've been really trying to be more intentional about taking time for myself, even when life is busy, because I found that the first thing that gets taken off my list when life is crazy is taking care of myself, which is always the most important thing when life is crazy. So I chose to put my work down. I chose to go outside, I grabbed the iPad and um, worked out in the sun and it was amazing, it was so good. And I had to put, even turn on Do Not Disturb because I kept getting texts and notifications about work stuff and I just didn't, I wanted a break. And I came back in and started conferences and it was so amazing. I felt like a better teacher um, when they were over. I felt like I could be a better wife, a better friend, a better daughter, a better person in general who could just give more because I had more to give. And if I would have just kept pushing through, um, I know I would have just been more grumpy and... <laughs> more ready to be done with the day um but I just did I'm really pumped that I made that decision because um I just feel more filled up and I feel like a lot of us really struggle with constantly being busy and constantly having notifications always coming at us and it's hard to escape from the never-ending to-do list and I just really encourage you to take that time for yourself. Maybe it's um, going on a walk or working out or maybe it's nothing physical. Maybe it is reading a book um, or writing a poem or um, anything that gets you outside or disengaged from the busy of life and just be present in the moment for like half hour or an hour um, when you can, especially when you're busy. I promise it's going to pay off. And I was just talking to a student today. You can only give as much as you have. And um if you want to be able to give these things, if you want to be a good person, sometimes being the best person is saying no to extra things and um, saying yes to taking care of yourself. And so I hope this encourages you. I know this was kind of long, but I feel like it's worth it. And um I just really care about you guys and want to see you have a healthy balance between work and home and schoolwork and home life. And it's so easy to just get caught up in all the things and get stressed out and feeling like it's never going to end. But um, anyway, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed my story. And if you are struggling with this, I would love to chat with you. Um... Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'm in it too. So we're all in this together. And I hope you enjoy Cooking with Paul today. We have a special guest. Okay, bye. Hi, guys. This is uh, this is my show called Paul 
Paul, oh, it's not there anymore. Paul, uh, no, wait, yeah, it's the Paul Spock show. No, Paul Spock cooking show. Cooking with Paul. Cook oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget. Uh, I have the best person in the world here with me today. She's one of the greatest students in uh, Matt Baker history, probably. <laughs> uh, it's Petra. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You guys should know her. If you don't say hi, she'll probably say hi back. <laughs> um, so where are we cooking today, Petra? So today we're making one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast. It's super easy and super healthy. Um, it's just some avocado toast. And I'll show you like my favorite way to make it. Cool. So let's first, do it. Uh, first, you toast a piece of bread. Um, however you like it. Okay. And Got then... It. If you want two pieces, you can use a whole avocado. I usually just make one. So I just use half avocado and then you kind of just like squeeze it on the piece of bread. Okay. And then uh, to spread it out, I usually use a fork because it just works easier than like a butter knife. You know what I do actually with the avocados? I make like little slices with the knife in there mm -hmm. and like this. Somebody else taught me this. It's another cool person named Emily. You might, you guys might know her. And then you grab a little spoon and you can spoon these things out. Oh, yeah. And put them on your bread and just like that. And just use the back of a spoon. I usually use a fork. There you go. This looks like that. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we okay. got our bread and avocado. Yep, and then I usually do the tomatoes first. So like, you can use any kind of tomatoes. I usually just use cherry tomatoes because they're already super small. And, and then, they're the best things ever. Yeah, and then I just cut them in half. Okay. And put them on how, however many you want. It's also really good to put like an egg, like a fried egg on top. Mm -hmm. If you like that, I do that sometimes like for extra protein. But Does it, do avocados have protein in it? Do you I know? know? No. I think so. <laughs> a little birdie's telling me that they they actually do have a good amount of <laughs> protein. Alrighty, so then it should look something like that. I just did two. Tomatoes. I just have two. Yeah, my, my bread piece is small. And then you can use any kind of onion, really. I use like pickled onions because they're super easy to make and they're really tasty. OK. Um, you can also just sli like slice up some sweet onion or something. Let me smell these. I want to make sure they're good. <laughs> yeah, I think they're fine. And then I usually just put a, a couple of those on top. Okay. I don't know if I've ever done pickled onions on an avocado toast before. Mm, it's really good. Okay. Alrighty, so then it's kind of like that. Yep. And then I like to put, this sounds kind of weird, but taco seasoning on it. Okay. Um, you can use whatever you want. Sometimes uh, we just ran out. I have like everything bagel seasoning. That's also really good. Okay. So I do that and then. And I just have salt, pepper, and some chili peppers because I don't have any seasonings. So we're just going to use that instead. And then and after that, I do the salt and pepper. Let me use that. Do you like yours kind of like spicy a little bit or no? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think it's the coolest thing. All right. And then the last thing I like to do is just add a little bit of lemon. I have a lime. I think that's close enough. Yeah, pretty much. All right. It's 
smells so good. Yeah. Okay, and then you, uh, just put it on a plate and to look like. Hey, let me get a plate. That, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. That's what mine looks like. And then just eat it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, super good. Yeah, super good, super healthy, super quick and easy to make. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can yeah, add yeah. it on top, um, fr fry some like meat or something. What kind of meat you think would, would, would work? Sometimes I just do like lunch meat. Like when I'm like cooking an egg or something, I'll just throw like yeah. a piece of turkey or ham on it. Yeah, that's, that. that's good yeah super fast well i think it's one of the greatest like sandwichy things yeah that's good right next to like the blt <laughs> and um hot dogs with carrots and, right yeah well nothing can take the place of hot dogs <laughs> all right okay well thanks betcha for showing us the avocado toast you're welcome uh, and i i guess i'll see you some at school and hopefully you guys had a great volleyball season too thank you yep okay bye, bye. and you guys have a great day today it's tuesday don't bye forget. everyone <laughs>